you know, it's been a while between videos. Uh, yeah, I've been waiting to get a video out that at least helps you a bit and uh, something with why not just put a video out for the sake of it. So, uh, iRacing's most recent update, end of 22, season four, I think it is. Um, <laughs> they've killed a lot of people's lives <laughs> with uh, this new spec map. So, there's a lot of people that, well, I suppose, like me, they run a lot of chrome in their paints. So today I thought I'd do a video. I've worked out how to do it. I streamlined the process a little bit. Um, it's taken me probably three hours or so to get, oh, I'll do about 50 odd paints, like just updating the spec map and then um, uh, uploading the spec map, the training paints and so on. But yeah, I had locked my own paints and then a couple for the boys in the team. But um, yeah, so I've, uh, <laughs> I've worked it out. Get back to Chrome. It looks a little bit different. It doesn't look as need for speed Chromey now. Um, looks a bit sort of neater reflections, but I think iRacing, <laughs> they've said in the forums that they're not going to um, fix it. They're not going to change it back. So I feel sorry for the painters that are done you know, a couple hundred paints with chrome and stuff and they got to go back and somehow chase up every single paint they've done and just up that one little thing that takes two seconds but it's a lot of work for some blokes so I was sort of lucky it only took me three hours but anyway so today I'm going to show you a bit of an update shorter version video of what I've done before how to do the paints um, so I'll show you how once you've done all the all the paints in, this is in Photoshop once I've done all the paints and then um, got all your livery pieces and all that done and then just to export the spec map so set up the, the layering and all that sort of stuff so I'll show you how to do that today um, and merging the layers into one file like I'll sort of do it I've got a bit of OCD so um, yeah I'll, I'll do it pretty neatly and I'll sort of name different folders in Photoshop like duplicate before merge so even if I'm half asleep and I'm doing it then I'm not going to forget to duplicate like drop and drag anyway I'll show you what the go is and um, how to fix the new spec map layer with the clear codes anyway alright let's get into it alright so like I said at the start of this video it's more so not a the basics of how to get the paints done. I've done a video on that before, how to get you started and and to organise all the layering and all that sort of stuff and, and cut stuff out and put your logos in. But this one's more so in Photoshop of how to, when you've done all your stuff and you're ready to export, to actually get the spec map to come up properly. So since they've changed it, this blue channel, it used to default to like a blue colour. Anyway, I'll show you that in a minute. But more so, so as you can see here, so even with the the car mandatory stuff, I always want that in matte as well. So I'll normally, I'll normally have a chrome base coat. So like the main paint of the car is always chrome. And then my livery piece is all in matte just to separate the layering a little bit so it pops. And I've always run these bright colors. So, all right. <clears throat> so once you've done all this, so you should have your, your base layer linked in Photoshop to uh, your, like your folder with all your livery pieces so like this so when I turn this on and off it's gonna have all these turn off so all right so first of all this is just for exporting so like I said I'll link it in the in the comments the video I've done to how you, how you get started with the painting so this is more so well not advanced but the, the finishing part to get it done with, with a new way now with the new update so okay so now I've got all them selected. So the bits that I want in, in uh, matte, hold Alt and drag into the merge folder. And then merge layers. And I normally just rename it merge. So this is the final part. So you don't want to do this all the time. You sort of want to just pick what you want in Chrome and pick what you want in matte and try and merge them into one. Otherwise you've got 100 files in this, this spec matte folder to, to, to try and adjust all the layering. So. All right, so again, hold Alt on the keyboard above the base paint. And then I've been messing around with crane numbers lately, so I can do another video on that if you guys want. Just hit me up in the comments and I'll do another video to do crane numbers. But so you want this on top of everything. Okay, so now to adjust it, what I'll do, I'll have this. Okay, yeah, I've got that set up as blue channel. So the blue channel used to be defaulted white. Okay, so 
branch on a roughness, color overlay. So I want this in full matte, okay? And then in metallic, I want it full zero. So that turns the, the shine out of that, okay? And they're all linked somewhere. Okay, so the number, I want in full chrome, so it's gonna be zero in the matte side. So yeah, roughness is matte, metallic is the shine, obviously. Okay. And the top one, I want in full chrome. Okay. Okay, so now first of all, so one other thing as well, don't don't have the merged one on when you originally like they saved the original paint. So you can see, just have a look at the Penrot logo when I turn this on and off. You can see it doubles up, so it does some weird shit if you have done on the same time, okay? So now I'll export this. I always save it in 32 bits and compress as well. It just saves a little bit of time when you're uploading the training paints because it makes the file about 3 meg instead of like 16 or 18. Okay. So there you go. Why is that not letting me do that? Okay. So there you go. So that's the first part done, the easy part. So it just looks like an oil paint, right? All right, so I'll change that back, okay. So now, you wanna turn your merged on and turn your rest of your stuff off. And then that's the number fill there, that's that's a base layer, so I don't know how it works, it's a bit gypsy magic, <laughs> but that's how it goes, okay. So I'll turn all these on now. So this is what the, this is an, uh, a new paint with a new clear coat option. So now, before this is what the, this is how the blues channel used to look default. So, but now it's gone the opposite way. So now with a new paint, you shouldn't have to mess with this, but this is, I'll show you what, what happens and what's gonna happen to Chrome paints of the boys that have, um, have already saved them. Okay, okay. So unfortunately, this is what the paint's gonna look like if you've already got your spec maps uploaded. So I don't know why, but this is what the click out does because it's because it defaults to when it's on blue channel, like I just showed you, when it's like showing blue and pink. Okay, or well, for me anyway, I don't know what it shows for everyone else, but okay. So that's what it's gonna look like. So now what you've got to do in your older paints that this is not defaulted to the new style. So you get a color overlay and you turn this to zero. So my understanding is the clear cat goes full matte on 100%, which is what the paints used to be. So what this converted into, it's a bit confusing, but I worked it out. Uh, okay. So to pretty much turn off the clear coat from matte, it's, it's pretty much the same thing because it's in the roughness folder, you're adjusting the matte level it's really in, in layman's terms that's what it's doing okay so now resave this okay so as you can see it's not as chrome as before it's not as chrome as before but like they said it's it's not it's not going to look as good in this this preview window <laughs> but once you load it up into track it looks very similar it's just not not as neat for speed chrome it's just a nicer smoother effect so I think either way, it probably does look a bit better. It's less crazy shiny because I, I don't know, I've always run bright colors, chrome paints. So it's, I suppose it distracts people when you're trying to pass them, but I don't know, yeah, I've always just run these colors. So I hope this video helps anyway. If you want to know any other tips about painting and doing chrome numbers and stuff, um, just hit me up in the comments anyway. All right, cheers.